And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Oakland Athletics and the Washington Nationals. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good. So we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound for Washington in this one, it'll be Steven Strasburg. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most we guys, the they get a little tight, Oakland. they start to aim the baseball, the but for some reason, Robert he gets looser, the ball comes out of his own. hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Robert Poisson takes a strike as he leads things off. First pitch, 405. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and no he ball, was fooled. Strasburg, Strasburg, the 0-2. Strasburg, Strasburg. This one popped up. One down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Here's Lowry now. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Down. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. Hey. The 2-0 -oh is in for a strike. 2-1. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off, two and two. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Let's go, Nats. Let's go, DC. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. It's a good breaking ball there. Just off the corner where you can't really do much damage. But it's close the enough to where you've got to protect. Ramon. And he just couldn't find a way Moriano. to fight it off. Here's Ramon Laureano. Let's go, Nats. First pitch, oh, and he out. just misses. Righty delivers. Ball. That one off the mark, and yeah, that's ball two. And a pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Ball. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And the pitch. And fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. 
A's go quickly and quietly there. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. We go to the bottom of the first, and now up for Washington, Luis Garcia. Leading up for the Nationals, the designated hitter, Luis. The wind of the pitch. Here's the strike. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. Next one misses, and a count two and one. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next nope. offering misses, three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. In for a strike, now it's three and two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw Way it really go. well. It's a really nice play to pitch. And now Nothing the shortstop, down. Brady House. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Garcia gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball and two strikes. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by the hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think he's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much with that swing. Juan Soto now. Two for six so far in the series. Pickoff throw. Garcia gets back easily. Help one and Next pitch has popped up. Noisy makes the grab. Two down. Batting four. The first As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, one guy swinging a hot bat recently, Victor Robles. And at first, Josh Bell digs in now. In there for strike one. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. 
He had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, that one might sting for a bit but it helps the team and it boosts the OBP boot. Sometimes that trade off is worth it but well, sometimes it's not. The 0-1 is outside and it's a ball and a strike. Next pitch misses inside and it's two and one. And now the lefty Fouls one off, two and two. Swing and a pop up. Lowry makes the catch, and that'll do it. So the Nats leave a pair scoreless after one. The sidewalk toss from Houston to New York. Right your words of that talk from LA to Newport. Walking home from school to walk in the ball courts. And here's All set for the start of the inning. So here's Brown at the plate. Leading off for Oakland, the left fielder, Seth Brown. Here comes a pitch. Yeah, there's the strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. That one misses. And now it's even one and one. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. Going to count one and two. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring? Or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out in the second. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was the trying catcher. to challenge him, but that's Sean pretty much what happened. Murphy. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1-0. And that one fouled off. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. At the belt and fires. And it's fouled away. And now it's one and two. And the one two misses to even the count. Two two now. And there's a ball. Second inning here, no score. Three. Got him looking. That's out number two. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is gonna have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe Not it's square exactly. around the bond, step the out of the box. Hit. Agitate him a little bit. Do noisy. something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Two outs, space is empty. Sheldon Noisy up next for the A's. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two 
Two down, nobody on. Bounce to the left side. Sneaks through, base hit. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So two down, Chad Pinder up next for the A's. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Two outs. That's a ball. One and one. Ball. And that's down and away. Right. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Righty to the plate. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And that is that. The A's strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. The catcher, Kaper. The wind in the pitch. They say it went. The wind in the pitch. That one misses at one and one. Here's a 1 1. Yeah. Fastball in for a strike at the count 1 and 2. And down on strikes he goes and one away. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that, it's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you off, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. John Kenzie Noel digging in for the Nationals. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he'll won. And a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And now it's Victor Robles up to him. First pitch, just misses. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Nationals go quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back in Washington, D.C., on to the third inning. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. The right fielder. Billy McKinney. And a pitch. Ball and a good eye there. Ball. 
Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. Right hander kicks, deals, swings through that one. Got him swinging. One gone here. Here's Steven Vogt. Batting none. Kind of a throwback. No batting, batting gloves. Steven Vogt. First pitch, and he just misses. That one fouled off. Top of the third, no score. So now one and two. Yeah, one and two. Next pitch misses. It's two and two. Two and two. Next one is off the play, and the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's now a batting. stone cold take. Oh, so the batting order turns over. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Robert Poisson looking pretty good at the plate. He's four for ten in the series. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one to no. Vote at first, one gone. That misses the zone. Now two and zero. Oh. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. That one in for a strike two and two. And the next pitch is way outside. And a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Payoff pitch. Got him. That's the second out. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts the of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven wow. strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Lowry in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is down low. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two one now. That one fouled off. Look out. That ball is smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. 2-2 two -two now. Got Third out, and that ends the frame.
one left for Oakland, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Nationals Park, set for the bottom of the third, up now for Washington, Cesar Hernandez. The second baseman, Cesar the pitch. Hernandez. There's the strike up high. Strike one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Hernandez started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, didn't go. Foul off down the right side. The pitch. And now the count is even. Why to kick the pitch? Looked like it was a little bit up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And that one lifted in the air center field. Right there is Loriano. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. Now batting the designated hitter. Louis. So the lineup flips over, and now it's Luis Garcia. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. The 0-1. Pitch misses there, and it's one and one. Up the middle, Poisson gloves it. Throws to first, two up, two down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Now back, number nine. Next to hit for the Nats, Brady House. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Line drive. Makes the catch in and go. Nothing doing for Washington. And we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set Leading to lead off, off the fourth, Ramon the Laureano. Ramon Laureano. And he deals. Swings through that. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. You'll one. Swing and a miss. The and the count is 0 and 2. And, 
And the righty deals. And now one and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. It. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found Set. a way to come back with another wow. good pitch to get him to swing and miss. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Seth Brown. First offering in the dirt. And the 1 0. There's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And the two two. This ball's chopped on the ground, and he handles it himself for the out. Now batting the catcher, Sean Murphy. So here's Murphy now. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. And here it comes. That one is upstairs. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. The pitch. Not even close there. And the count is two and two. And down on strikes. Out number three. And the A's are gone in order. Still no score. Bottom of the fourth. And now the right fielder, Juan Soto. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits the contact so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging too. And the pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Gets it to first. One up, one down. The first baseman, number 19, Josh Bell. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets out. And one pushed foul. Ball 
Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Pitch. All two. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Brings it in. Two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Play. Here's Lane Thomas. Just a slow ground ball this time. Rolls across the diamond, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. And the Nationals gone in order, and we're still knotted at zero. We go to the top of the fifth. Down the third baseman, Sheldon Noisy. Off of the athletic. The third baseman, Sheldon Noisy. The pitch. Ball one there. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes a pitch. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. The battle number 10. Designated hitter. Chad Pinder. Chad Pinder now. Hey. That one's in there on one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Righty to the plate. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Here's a 1-1. And he grounds one to the right side. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now batting, right fielder, Billy McKinney. So digging in, Billy McKinney. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that's in there for strike one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Kicks and deals. Nope. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. A 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. Next offering is fouled back. Stays alive. Mm -hmm. 
Left hand batter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing there for the A's. And we are still scoreless. Bottom of the inning, and now the switch hitting catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Leading up for the Nationals, the catcher, Kaber. Low, back to work. Ruiz. That misses. Ball one. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Murphy throws the first in time, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. So up next, John Kenzie Noel. First offering misses badly for ball one. The Nationals hitless so far in the game. Slice down the right side. Ball to strike. Fouled off left side. The one two down to the dirt swing and a miss in time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Fielder, number 16 Victor Robles. Two outs bases empty. Here's Victor Robles two for eight in the series so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next pitch is outside. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. Three up, three down for Washington. Still no score. Welcome back. All right, we go to the... Top half of inning Leading number six. Athletics. Digging in the for Oakland. Baseman. Steven Vogt. Vogt. The right-hander back to work. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Way high. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Ball two. And a 2-1 on the way. And a foul ball. Two 
2 2. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Shortstop, Robert Poisson. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Here's a speed threat, Robert Poisson. There's a line drive to left field. Can't get their base hit. The batter dominant performance for him today boo just yeah. two hits allowed so wow. far no runs across either and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much here's Jed Lowry three for ten in the series so far first offering and it just misses And a pitch. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Strasburg to first. And he's back safely. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. The 2 1. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's off the top of the wall. Oh, the throw is wild. He hit that ball really well, the deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Loriano comes up to hit. First offering misses the mark. At the belt and fires. Oh, now this is drilled to center. Way back there. On its way and gone. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, and they add a pair. It's 3-0. Singy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Seth Brown up next for the A's. Now batting left fielder Seth Brown. And a foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Next nope. one misses. One ball, one strike. Swung on, belted. Pretty well struck. That one is gone. Seth Brown goes deep. His 21st of the year, it's 4-0. Back-to-back jacks, and this club is... Fired up right now, Boog. I mean, 
This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That'll do it for Steven Strasburg, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Aaron Sanchez. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bases empty, one away. Here's Sean Murphy. Now batting. Catcher. Sean. In there, and it's 0-1. Deal one. That's hard hit in the line. And that one hops the wall. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Sheldon Noisy up next for the A's. First pitch, not close. Murphy over at second, one down. Line to left, and now maybe extra bases. Murphy around third. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Tag, and he's safe. It's a hustle double. The bat, number 10. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now Chad Pinder, two for ten in the series. This one in the air right field. Soto has a beat on it. Two down. Now batting right fielder. Billy. Next up for the A's, Billy McKinney. McKinney. Two for seven in the series so far. In there for strike one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Way inside, and that hit him. Steven Vogt up now next for the A's. The first baseman, Steven Vogt. The other way, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning, not once, but twice, as the A's are on top. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Leading off for the National, the second baseman, Cesar. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Vote makes the grab, and there's one down. The batter, number two, designated hitter. Luis. So now the DH spot, Luis Garcia. And the first offering is not close. 
This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The one two. And misses inside. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two now. Foul ball there. Here's a two two. On the ground. Poisson over to pick it up. Tosses across the first. Two up, two down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in now front now. a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And here is Brady House. Just two for 11 in the series so far. And that's in there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The Nets yet to pick up a hit here. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. He made him pay for that one. Home run number five on the season. It's 5-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now the youngster wants Soto. Up next for Washington, the right fielder. Wow. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The lefty, the 1 0. In there at the knees for a strike. Pitch misses. 2 and 1. Towards first. Quote takes it to the bag, and that'll do it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Back in Washington, D.C. New inning getting started. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Robert Poisson. Robert Poisson. Sanchez back to work. Curveball over for a called strike. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Joe Smith appears to be getting loose. Finnegan, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Hernandez over to first in time. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The batter number eight. Second baseman. Jed Lowry. Jed Lowry up next for the A's. One for three. Now 
That hits the dirt. 1 and 0. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Rolled over to third. Noel handles. On the run, sends it over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Moriano. Right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas miniature. We tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. A wise man told me that silence never betrayed him. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to first. And that is that. And one, two, three, go the A's. They lead this one, though, 5 1. Back here in Nationals Park, set for the last half of the seventh. Josh Bell at the plate now. The first baseman, Josh Bell. Why to kick the pitch and fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. McKinney racing over to make the catch. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it now into back. his highest field, gear and go a long way to track that one down. Oh, Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Now the left fielder, Lane Thomas. I heard about the farmer's daughter. That one's in there, 0 1. 0 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Really nice sequence right there, and the change of speeds off the fastball. Really good arm action, sold it. Change up just doesn't arrive. Lowry throw over to first. Two up, two down. Now Two outs, bases empty. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Liner, base hit. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Noel, the next to hit, takes ball one. Ruiz off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. And now 2 0. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Domingo Acevedo getting ready to go. Puck getting loose as well. Two 0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Here's a 3-0. There's a strike.
And now the lefty fouls one away, and now three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Three and two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Zach Lowe departs. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Paul Blackburn. And he'll work on holding this lead. Victor Robles digging in for the Nationals. Fouled off. He was late. First and second, two down. Next pitch misses, and that is ball one. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So the Nats leave a pair. They're down here, five to one. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth, and here is Seth Brown. The left field. And he deals. And the pitch is outside, ball one. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's so jogging bad. around the bases the rather than pulling up at second. John Murphy. So a man aboard. And now here's the A's catcher, Sean Murphy. First pitch, and he just misses. No outs, runner on second. And down on strikes he goes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Sheldon Noisy up next for the A's. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he grounds one back up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Brown coming home. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. The run comes in from second. It's 6-1. 
Well done. Drives in the run. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now it's the DH, Chad Pinder. First offering, misses the mark. And the righty deals. That's down and in. That one in there across the letters. Right handed reliever. On the ground to the left. Sneaks through. Base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now, Joe Smith comes on now. Has a pitch in the last three days. And now, Billy McKinney. First pitch, just misses. Noisy over at second. Pinder over at first with one away. The next offering misses. Two and oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Right-hander kicks deals. Nice. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And here it comes. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two on, one out. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. So the two down now. And here is Steven Vogt. Out to short. Sneaks through. Base hit. Noisy. Around third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs and a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Bottom of the eighth, and now up for Washington, Cesar Hernandez. Leading off for Washington. The second base. There's the strike. Righty delivers. That one the other way. Calls it in, and there's one away. No pass. Number two. Designated hitter. Really and next is the designated hitter, Luis Garcia. First pitch, and he just misses. 
The Athletics have some bullpen action. Domingo Acevedo preparing to come on if needed. Puck, the power lefty, up as well. The 1-0. -oh. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. The batter. Number nine. And the batter will be the shortstop. Brady House. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Ninth inning coming up. It's the A6 and the Nats won. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now here is Robert Poisson. The shortstop. Robert Poisson. Smith back to work. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And out of here! Third home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 7-1. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Jed Lowry up next for the A's. The batter number eight, second baseman, Jed Lowry. To the right side, there's Hernandez handling the chance. Over to first, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Up next for Oakland, the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Ramon Laureano. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Nope. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and fires. Popped up. Bell makes the catch. Two away down. Up next for Oakland. The left fielder, Seth Brown. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Seth Brown. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. That's a strike, and it's one and one. And the pitch. Good eye right there. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. And that one wrapped foul. Mm -hmm. 
to the right side. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Tosses the first. That ends the frame. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 7-1. Welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Here's Juan Leading Soto. For the Nationals, the right fielder, Juan Soto. The wind of the pitch. Oh. And ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Next offering is in for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. That's Next offering three. misses. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Up the middle. They get the out on Soto. Up next to us, the first baseman, Josh. Here's Josh Bell. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Lane Thomas, as the Nationals are down to their final out. First pitch, just misses. Out towards right center field. And that'll do it. The A's take this one in a blowout. And a 7-1 finish in this one. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics, seven runs on 12 hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Nationals, one run on two hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind.